I'm sat on a trunk stool made by John Bryant of Bath. Now this would be a useful uh, piece of luggage for traveling around, especially on a coach. If you stopped off on your journey and there wasn't a seat for you, well, you've instantly got one with this trunk stool. And as you can see from the top, it's padded and buttoned for comfort. Basically it's D shape and we open up the top and you've got a bit of storage space in there to put some of your belongings. It's made of leather on softwood. We've got a handle to the front and to the back. Plenty of studs, um, both for decoration and just to give it a little bit of extra protection and strength. Underneath it, we've got a few studs just to raise it off the ground in case it's wet, help to protect the bottom. Now, how do we know it's by John Bryant? Well, he's put a nice label inside for us. Um, Bryant was in Bath, John Bryant, at 22 Union Passage. And as we can see from there, it says that he's a trunk, portmanteau, millboard, box and packing case maker to Her Majesty and Her Royal Highness, the Princess Elizabeth. Now, this helps us date this because the Majesty that he was referring to was Queen Adelaide. Now, we found an 1819 directory of Bath in which Bryant is listed, but this is earlier than that. How do we know? Because Adelaide died in 1818 and later labels by Bryant change it from manufacturer to Her Majesty to manufacturer to Her Late Majesty. So we know it's got to be before 1818. Um, and also uh, later, uh, Bryant moved addresses. Uh, in 1825, the corridor opened in Bath. Now this was a shopping arcade. They were very fashionable at the time. Of course, you had Burlington Arcade in London and uh, the corridor in Bath was the place to be to go and do your shopping and it linked the High Street with Union Passage. So Bryant started putting on his labels two doors down from the corridor. Eventually he moved to 19 Union Passage which was on the corner with the corridor and then after that he even in advertising described his shop as 19 The Corridor, even though he was still Union Passage, just to make the most of uh, his location. The business expanded and uh, they opened a shop also at 12 Colonnade, Cheltenham. Perhaps it was a relative of uh, Bryant who ran that. Cheltenham was 55 miles, still is 55 miles away from Bath. Um, and perhaps it was a step too far because by 1833, Bryant is listed in the Court of Relief for debtors. He obviously owed money. Um, the business wasn't doing very well. Um, and he needed uh, debt relief. The business still carried on for a few years. We're not quite sure um, who was running it, whether it was him or a relative at that time, and then starts to disappear. Now, um, these trunk stools were not unique to Bryant. We've uh, had two or three others by other makers, mostly London makers. And of course there is a Bryant in London who was a trunk maker working at the same time as John Bryant of Bath. Now this was William Bryant of St Paul's Churchyard and he's not to be confused with John Bryant. Perhaps they were relatives, we'll never know. Um, but they were two different makers for sure. But to sum this up, um, it's quite a rare piece, around about 1815, uh, made of a nice olive green leather on softwood. Um, and if you go to our website, you'll see some really good photographs of the label, so you can study that in depth if you wish to, uh, and other images. Um, but a very nice, practical trunk, and actually, quite comfortable.